This video presents a coding example for structures. On the next page, you will see a problem statement and then a space to write your answer. Give it a try. Then we will go over one way in order to solve the problem. All right, so let's go over this one. So we have this problem. We have this structure array that represents the hierarchy of a company. The structure array um, has two field names, name and boss. And we want to figure out, given an employee's name, we could write a function, but we won't. We'll just write a script. Uh, given an employee's name, figure out how many steps away they are from the boss. So for instance, let's just say, let's just say, I, this is a script. Um, let's say I have the employee as Sarah. So in this case here, steps from boss should be two. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to get out all of my names of employees and all of my names of bosses. So let's say names. And so our, our structure is called company. Um, and so I want all of the names of my employees um, and so I, since these are all chars, I want to save them inside of curly braces. So I want to celebrate of all of my names of my employees. And then I want a celery of all of the bosses. So company, I want all of them, and I want the bosses. Okay, so right now I have a celery of all of my names, celery of all of my bosses. The reason I'm doing this is because now I have access to the actual values and I don't really have to deal too much with the structure itself. And so now I want to figure out where is my person inside of my, um, inside of my structure. So I can do that because this is kind of like a celery problem now. So I can do that by saying um, I can create a mask. Let's call it a name mask. Um, and I can use stir comp because these are celeries of all chars. So I can do stir comp of where my employee is at inside of my name. So right now I will have a logical vector that will be true where that employee's name is. And so now let's go ahead and initialize my steps from boss to be zero because um, if I get the person out and they're my boss, I want my steps for my boss to be zero, not one. And so now I want to keep on going through my structure, determining um, if I found a boss yet, right? And I want to keep going as long as the current employee that I'm looking at is not my boss. Our boss is dictated by having an empty bracket inside of the boss field. So therefore, what we can do is we can say while, so we have to use a while loop to this because we don't know how many times we want to loop through our structure. So I'm gonna say while is not empty, the boss field of my, um, of my structure at that certain employee's index. So I can say while not is empty, my company, at my name mask, oh, I spelled company wrong, company at my name mask dot boss. So right now this is saying as long as what I have right now at um, of that employee's name, as long as their boss is not empty, I wanna keep searching. And so if it's inside of here, this means my current employee that I'm looking at is not my boss. So therefore I want to look at, I want my new employee to be the boss of my old employee, right? Um, and so I can update my employee and say employee will be the boss of my um, current employee. So I can say my new employee will be my company at my name mask dot boss. So I'm taking that boss and assigning it to my new employee. So now I want to figure out where is this new person, this boss, where are they at inside of my structure array? Because it's not guaranteed that they're in a certain order. So where are they at inside of my structure array? So I'm going to update my name mask. Actually, I can just copy and paste this. Um, like this, right? And then so right now, I, I've updated my name mask to be where this new employee is inside of my structure. And so now, I've looked through one more person, I've gone up one more level, so therefore I wanna say steps, steps from boss, is that what it's called? 
steps from boss, yeah. Steps from boss will be steps from boss plus one. Okay, and that's actually it. Um, and so, actually, so in this case here, I kind of solved this problem um, using structures, right? I kept on indexing my structure. I was indexing my structure here as well. Um, but at the beginning, I guess this was kind of unnecessary. At the beginning here, I created a celery of all of my bosses, but then I never really used it. I don't think I need it, actually, in the way that I solved the problem. But this problem actually could have just been a celery problem if as soon as I took out my values, put them inside of celeries, then I just did some indexing with celeries. I necessarily didn't even have to look at my structure at all anymore. Um, but so since I chose, since I chose to do it the structure way, let's go ahead and delete that line because I don't need my bosses there because I'm accessing my bosses through indexing my structure array. There's multiple ways to solve the problem. This is one of them, using a loop to go through it until you find someone whose boss is empty. And that's how you know that you found your boss and you're just having a counter that's incrementing each time you go up a level. And that's it.